This is just a small update. I'm going to put it in tomorrow's video. This is still the night of the first day, but look at her. She's in literal heaven. Why is she so comfortable? I want to be a cat. <laughs> this completely isn't fair. Screw the camera, I guess, huh? <laughs> Relatable. Welcome to the realm of unpopular opinions. So welcome to day two. I have been annoyed so far this day, not because of reading, but because of the whole university process. It has been so complicated, but one phone call to the university actually told me that it's much simpler, so I've been pissed off for like an hour. But that's besides the point, because now we can go and read. Update this. Last night I read a lot. <laughs> I read like 100 pages, so I'm um, 80-ish pages from the end, which should be very easy to do. So we're going to do that first and actually finish this book. So we can cross off three prompts for the readathon, and we can move on to something hopefully better because I am so not vibing with this. So we are actually making good progress in the reading rush so far. Yesterday I reclaimed all my badges from the other two readathons that happened with the reading rush. It was an annoying process, but I finally have all of them on my site. I will actually li link my reading rush profile in the description so you can follow me there. And let's tackle this and then I will update to you on what else I will read. And today I will actually do the challenges. Yesterday I did the T one, so today I will do the other two. I'm gonna go dress up right now and see if there's anything I can match to a book, but Stay tuned for the bookish story. This is just a spare room, so don't mind the ugly background. But here we go. I have synced with my favorite book of all time. We have this dress that is sort of darkish blue, just like this. We have the little red flowers. With the green detailing, we have the white necklace. And we have blue rings to complete the look so this is me being one with the best book of all time so i hope i actually kind of succeeded Hello again, I am Marie Doreen, those are the candles flickering, the fan is on, my hair is up because I'm dying. So, also update, this is what we're drinking from today. This is my lovely Jack Skellington mug that I got from, not Venice, Verona, Verona. Today we're having coffee though, <laughs> because it's a tough day. I'm not in the mood for tea right now, but I will drink tea probably later. So, now we're gonna try and finish City of Bones and then hopefully later when this infernal heat dies down I can finally go cycling. Yeah here's my profile if any of you want to follow me on the Reading Rush website and here are the badges <laughs> that I've spent time updating. Out of the 2020 ones I... yeah out of the 2020 ones these are the ones that I have made. I'm going to try and do a sprint today. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to finish this today. I just completed this. So we only have a couple prompts to go. I'm going to try and do this one. Hopefully do this one. And this is the only one that I think I'm not going to do. And I'm going to try and do this one for the challenge today, but we're going to see how that's actually going to go. I am done. I am through. I finished it. <laughs> finally, after like a year, we have finally finished this. I do have book two, and I have Clockwork Angel, but we'll see when I actually read that. It took me a while to just complete this, so success. We have 
done this. I had like from page 200-ish to read until the end, so that wasn't really that few pages. But yeah, I'm so happy that we're on track. This is going well. I am feeling motivated. Now that everything has been so successful and I am finally free, I can, in good faith, leave the room. Finally. <laughs> I'm not sure what I will pick up next and I will update you, but now I am just hopping onto that bloody bike and finally going out for a drive to stretch my legs a little bit because I had enough of my room, even though I love it so much. So... I'll dry. I'm not sure for how long. Then I'll come back, likely update you about what I will be reading next. And then wrap up day two, which has been so far a lot more productive than day one. And I feel a lot better. Though it is hot as balls. So, wish me luck that I don't die out there. Whew. Yeah, this sucks. Now you can see me just, just about before dark returned and I am really really tired you can't see me this is probably very creepy and I'm out of breath hello as you can see I am currently clean which is very satisfying after such a long long ride I drove like nine kilometers even though it was shorter than I thought because I was going really quickly but that's now besides the point this isn't a how I am supposed to get into shape vlog this is a reading rush vlog so I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna be reading tonight and then I think I'm gonna wrap this up because I will probably want to go to bed and not do anything so I'm gonna have to edit before that so we're going to read this finally and there's two volumes in here so this can probably help my goal of seven books this isn't for one of the challenges but it's quick and that's what I'm in the mood for tonight. So this is definitely what we're going to read. And of the actual challenges, I'm just looking down on my shelf. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. I mean, hang on. I mean, I could possibly start the, the Tess Garrison novel, but I don't know. I'm not in the mood for that. I'm way more likely to start Gospel of Loki. So this is definitely what I will be reading tonight. And then maybe I will start Gospel of Loki. I don't feel like starting the thriller until the second half of the week because I'm really, really not in the mood. So, here's the last update. I am out of breath. <laughs> it is hot. You know that feeling? It's just a small ramble. When you get out of the shower after you've been sweating, and you continue sweating. It bloody sucks because I feel like shit. But that's besides the point. So, this is the last update for me. This is the last thing I'm going to be reading. I hope day two went well for you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think it was a bit better than the second one. And, uh, all right, oh crap. I forgot about the story. I forgot about the bookish story. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go wash the conditioner out of my hair. Then I'm gonna tell you a bookish story so I can cover all the challenges. And then I am logging off. <laughs> This is obviously very, very flattering, but I don't care because I am just here to tell you a bookish story. I don't have any interesting bookish stories because I live in the middle of nowhere. Worldwise, not actually country-wise. So I don't have any interesting meet and greets or signings or nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty boring in regards to that. So I'm just going to tell a story about how I got back into reading. So basically, I think around the time that I went to sixth grade... There was the whole, I'm not even going to get into it, this is not a sob story, but I stopped reading. I think I didn't read for like three years, maybe four, but it felt like a million. So, this is, oh god, I'm sorry, I ran out of breath for a minute there. So yeah, basically when I didn't read for a couple of years, I was like, eh, I can't find anything to read. Everything annoys me, I didn't want to read anything, except for books for school, I don't think I re read anything. So... Before high school, I think, I think it had to have been before high school, or maybe in, I, I don't remember, this is besides the point, I hadn't read for a couple of years, then I found at a book fair, Red Queen just standing there, and I was very happy that I found it, because I swallowed it in one night, and I was like, this is so cool, I'm gonna read again, so basically, that was the book that got me back into reading, which is why I have a special connection to it, but now that I've read it objectively, <laughs> 
I only still love it for the one character, but that's why I cherished it for some time, even though I still saw the flaws. But this is actually not what that is about. I am just looking for two books that are somewhere below, but I just remembered I keep telling the story wrong. Red Queen wasn't what got me back into reading. I had a period when I read Possessed by Gretchen McNeil. I'm not even sure what genre that is. I think paranormal, but I was obsessed with it. I read it in an evening. I didn't read in English back then, except for Diary of the Wimp Wimpy Kid books. So I loved it a lot. I read it in an evening and I was so obsessed with it. I got another book, which was I think $3.59 and just crossed my mind how cool it would actually be to read those again. I think that would be kind of awesome because those were the books that got me back into reading. I didn't ever get more of them because if I remember correctly, the others were a little bit expensive. But, yeah, so I can set myself straight. Gretchen McNeil, you got me back into reading, not Victoria Aveyard, though you're both equally to congratulate, honestly, because you got me back into reading out of my very depressed slump. So, I might actually reread Gretchen McNeil now that I think of it. And this is my bookish story. I have been fooling myself for years that Red Queen got me back into reading, but it didn't. It was actually Possessed, a paranormal book about a girl expelling demons. <laughs> I don't remember much of the plot, but I do remember that I loved it very much. So there you go. There is your story. That's basically it. And now while I am drying my hair, I can close out the vlog and say happy reading. I will definitely see you. Tomorrow, let's hope the upload doesn't take until like 3.30 a.m. like yesterday because that was the bane of my existence last night. I'm just checking how the percentage bar is going, but yeah, that is basically it. I think I've claimed all my badges. I'm going to leave a link to my account below so you can follow me and we can chat and this can be a fun time for all of us. So. Happy reading and I will see you in the next one.